The changing infrastructure is still struggling to keep up with the growing number of electric vehicles and quite often sets on affordable tariffs. Therefore, the most convenient way of recharging your daily commuter is by using a home socket. In this video, we will cover new electric scooter models that offer a convenient feature of battery removal that saves you money on the electric bill and allows range extensions with a simple battery swap. Subscribe to our channel to support the progress of electric vehicles and let's get technical. The company that began the whole trend of personal mobility vehicles with their self-balancing electric human transporter continues to explore the niche. Segway's latest introduction is a driver license free smart moped labeled C80. The daily commuter weighs just 120 pounds and is less than 5.3 feet in length, so the manufacturer even suggests taking it to your storage in an elevator. The bike possesses intuitive two button controls, simple airlock or NFC tag activation and smart seat detection that prevents movement unless the rider is safely seated. The rider comfort comes from a two-stage central shock absorber and a front fork, automatic cruise control, and an ABS-equipped braking system. The Segway 9-Bot C80 is perfect for bike lanes traveling at 50 miles per hour to the distance of 47 miles. Ascol Group has been producing electric motors for household appliances for over 35 years. When in 2014 they decided to expand into the personal mobility segment. This year the company is introducing an all new NGS scooter family. It consists of three models, all equipped with removable batteries, pulley transmissions with quieter belts, and Ascol developed motors with 1.5, 2.2, or 2.7 kilowatt of output. The entry-level NSG1 operates in three modes, covers 25 miles on a charge, and rides on dual-purpose tires. The mid-range NGS2 adds a digital display with USB and Bluetooth, while the flagship NSG3 is good for 60 miles and gets full LED lighting, double disc brakes, and a CBS system. The highest standard of emissionless mobility from Germany is set by Kumpens, upcoming flagship that follows the new look and feel technology design concept. The 54 iconic scooter gets not one, not two, but three removable batteries with powerful LG cells labeled Power Pack 2.0. The 4 kilowatt motor gets enough juice to travel on average 84 miles, and the charging process takes just four hours from a standard home plug. Hydraulic fork and shock absorber ensures adequate cushioning and hydraulic brakes front and rear provides excellent stopping power that you might need at the speeds up to 28 miles per hour. You can look into the heart of the Kumba through its 7 inch touch display plus the telemetry module allows tracking the scoot status through your smartphone. As a rule, attempts to fit large components into small scooters often make the latter unattractive, visually and uncomfortable for riders. The Dutch Brecker startup denies this statement, as their Model B is extremely good looking, blending modern sleek lines with classic cafe racer design. Its more interesting feature, however, is the standard 2 kilowatt hour battery hidden in the sleek compartment under the unique aluminum frame. This capacity is enough to cover up to 50 miles of range, while adding the optional extra battery will push Brecker's range to the car segment numbers. The Dutch scooter has a front inverted fork and rear dual coilover shocks, which are positioned parallel to the main frame. As standard, it arrives with a GPS module and acoustic alerting system. If you feel like smashing the like button, do so, and you'll be making a major input in the electric vehicle's expansion. Let's proceed.
Tromox is a young e-mobility startup from China that presented its first e-scoot at the 2019 Milan Motorcycle Show. Now the brand is ready to launch the Mino in other markets, including the US and Canada. Created in cooperation with an unnamed Italian firm, its design features 30 hard points that allow for multiple customization possibilities. The model rides on a carbon fiber steel frame and uses many aluminum parts, as the result tipping the scales at 150 pounds. The source of propulsion is a mid-mounted brushless motor peaking at 2.5 kilowatt and 37 miles per hour. It is fed by a 1.2 kilowatt hour battery with Samsung cells, ensuring up to 73 miles of riding. Additionally, the Mino gets an inverted front fork suspension, LED lighting, disc brakes, and a smart LCD display. Designed by the Berlin-based Unu Motors, this model has been on the market since 2014 and last year it entered its second generation. The Scoot features a Bosch electric motor which is juiced by a portable 1.7 kWh battery with 31 miles of range. You can double this number if you sacrifice a bit of the generous 31 liter storage space under the seat and opt for a second battery. The Uni's hub motor is offered in three variants with 2, 3 and 4 kW of output. The higher number models ensure more robust acceleration and solid hill climbing ability, but also give you more color options to choose from. The next step in Horwin's evolution from a distributor of Chinese electric two-wheelers into an independent manufacturer is the Zippy EK3 scooter. Its seat compartment conceals two removable Samsung batteries with a total capacity of 2.88 kilowatt hour, a range of 62 miles and 1,000 recharge cycles. The rear-mounted hub motor peaks at 8 horsepower and accelerates the Horwin scooter up to speeds of 59 miles per hour. The rider's safety is ensured by the intelligent combined braking system with discs front and rear, breakdown proof and wear resistant vacuum tires, bright LED headlight and DRLs, as well as automatic anti-theft alarm. The EK3 could be ordered in standard and deluxe versions, which adds a leather seat and handlebars, metallic paint, and a floor mat. Upon updating the previous year's Yadia C-Line scooter, the Spanish Urbe decided to change its name place into Rizar. The reason is that the C-Line was supplied by a Chinese firm, and Urbe wanted to distance the new model from the predecessor. Though Rizar will be also assembled in Asia, Urbet's quality and design department has taken an active part in its development. The Scoot gets a new powertrain consisting of a more powerful 1500-watt hub brushless motor and an improved 1.44 kWh battery. Visually, the new model becomes longer and wider, while the USB socket has been moved from under the seat compartment to the front tray. Scient is expanding its urban mobility fleet with an all-new electric scooter that is claimed to demonstrate equivalent performance to 125cc ICE models. The MO gets a 12 horsepower motor and a 5.6 kilowatt hour battery that can be removed from its housing and charged at home. This drivetrain is good for 177 pound-feet of torque, so the company claims 0 to 31 mile per hour acceleration in 3.9 seconds. The two-wheeler tops out at 59 miles per hour, and it can cover up to 78 miles on a single charge. Borrowing technology from Siet Cars, the MO also comes with two displays, smartphone compatibility and a digital key system.
Which one of the presented electric vehicles is your personal top pick? Share with the world in the comments section. Smash the like button to make your input in the progress of EVs. Like, share, and continue watching more episodes by clicking on the icons in front of you. See you soon.